we are always connected to some entities in the spiritual sense in the same way as we are connected to some people in the physical sense you might be unaware but even right now while you are listening to my voice you are spiritually connected with the spiritual entities they are still contacting you from heaven and telling you to pay attention to the signs you are receiving know that you are precious and opportunities are sent to you to help you move forward as new people and new opportunities are entering your life show up with a good attitude and faith in the divine path that god has set up for you the upcoming season of happiness is waiting for you so stop complaining to god and stop blaming yourself for the things you were not supposed to have in your life this message has came to you just to let you know that you are under the constant observation of someone in heaven and that spiritual force is guiding and helping you to reach your destination remember this whatever problem you must solve you are not alone through this message they want to let you know that your all problems will be solved so don't judge others or blame yourself for all the problems you have currently in your life the difficulties are there because of the negative forces and the dark energies it comes from the enemy the word of god says in ephesians chapter 6 was 12 For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the cosmic powers over this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places So You have to be strong and brave because every hurdle that came your way was a learning experience for you and it helped you to grow personally. Do not worry. There are your spiritual protectors to help you cross the hurdles that come your way. And remember this. They are many time more in number. then your hurdles Exodus chapter 23 verse 22 says If you listen carefully to what he says and do all that I say I will be an enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you God will always upgrade and transform you for your promise of abundance. So try to connect with God in heaven through your intuition to understand everything that's happening in your life. Know that a spiritual level of connection works exactly as everything else works on a physical level that is hidden from ordinary perception when we wake each morning we become aware of our bodies all the thoughts we ever had have reinforced the body's individuality The spiritual part of us is the immortal soul that is made in the image and likeness of God. This just means not only are we individual bodies but the experiences we have had in our past have shaped our thoughts 
in a way that makes a unique person inside the body. Our body is unique and our thoughts and feelings are unique to our body. Those thoughts are always influenced by supernatural forces. The thing we all must know is that these supernatural forces can either be good or evil. Therefore, we must analyze our situation by the signs we are receiving, whether they go as per the word of God and the way we have been commanded to live a life or not. If your intuition and the Holy Spirit are telling you that the path you are being asked to choose and walk upon is not good for you, just turn away from that. If you think that the path ahead of you is full of evil things, lies, dirt and totally against the word of God, then you must away from it, not on it. If you are not able to understand what's happening in your life and why it is happening, then you must walk by faith, not by your side. Yes, if you can't recognize the signs from heaven, then the only way to walk on the right path is to put all your faith in God and walk on the path that you think is good for you. Remember this, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we all know which path is the path of God and which path is the path of the devil. The Holy Spirit has given all of us the sense to discern whether a path is godly or not. So, listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit and just walk by faith on the path that seems to you godly and righteous. Psalm chapter 16 verse 11 says, You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. So, thank God and the Holy Spirit for always giving us the perfect guidance that we all need at the right time. Thank your spiritual protectors that always connect with you from heaven. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your guidance. We are thankful to all of our unseen protectors, our spiritual guardians and the almighty God in heaven. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. We are grateful for that. Let your power fall on us and change our hearts. So give thanks to all of these spiritual forces that always guides you and protects you through this prayer right now. Open heaven wide and pour out the rain of your Holy Spirit on our lives. Amen.